Hi, this time we are going to shader some columns with PDI. Let's start by selecting the model uh, and shader it. Open shader window. Let Nunsar and uniform shader style by default. And uh, click on shader button. Okay, this recutting the model. It's done. I would wait to check the fragment is uh, set uh, edge faces in the viewport. You can see all the fragments along the surface. And uh, we are going to uh, reshutter some fragments because we want more fragments in the middle. For this, just ungroup the uh, object, select some fragments in the middle, and uh, set Musa to 8 uh, per fragment and shut it again. You can see more fragments in the middle. You can do this as much as you want. Okay, and now let's create a an impact object uh, which is going to to hit the column in dynamics for this just create a cylinder near to the surface okay a thin cylinder and move it a little to the right okay perfect and uh, now uh, uh, and set edge faces and uh, let's animate the cylinder just creating a key in the last frame ok, move it and it's done let's check the animation and we want the cylinder uh, uh, breaking the column when hitting it for this we, uh, we have to uh, set uh, dynamic properties Open uh, create PDI bodies window and set the ground as auto and passive so it doesn't move and select the cylinder and set it as auto. Uh, passive is auto check because the solver recognizes the uh, object is animated. And now for the column, uh, first we are going to set all fragments as converse hull, just as a preview to, to see what happens. Open simulating options and uh, start computing dynamics. Okay, and you can see uh, the column is uh, collapsing before the uh, cylinder actually hits the surface. Uh, this is because uh, we have set a single converse hull for every fragment, but we can fix this very easily with pull on it creating a fracture body. Open fracture, basic fracture window and click on create, click on asset. Orange lines means the fracture body is created and we can also switch on the view to see the distribution of harness. Now the column is, is, uh, is a hole in dynamics and we can uh, uh, switch the, the, the way it is breaking with Custerize and Harness parameter. This time we are going to set Custerize as a fault and harness, uh, decrease Harness for make the model uh, increase brittleness of the model. Let's compute again and now let it finish. You can see now the column is breaking just when the cylinder uh, is hitting it. Very nice, but still uh, some cracks are created uh, away from the impact area. It's not bad, by, but we want to improve the result, removing these uh, cracks. This is not difficult with PDI. Okay, you can see the cracks are away from the impact area. Just reset the scene, the scene open basic factory again, and uh, set local propagation scheme. In this way we are going to get cracks created just in the impact areas. Let's let compute again. Okay, you can see how now only the cracks are created, the other breaks where uh, collision happens. Okay, very nice.
Okay, no cracks away from the impact area. Let's see it again. And well, uh, let's uh, create more columns, more column, more fun. For this, just uh, we are going to clone the the column. Select clone here and uh, set copy, not distance. Very important. Click on OK and move it to the right. and create another one we can do this uh, as much as we want another uh, one more is enough for the demo ok and now we have to set everything in dynamics again now actually only the first column is in dynamics we have to set uh, uh, all columns in dynamics for this, there are different way, ways, but the easiest one is just deleting, deleting the, the current uh, fracture body, clicking on delete, basic fracture window, OK, and create a new fracture body for all columns at once. But first, we are going to uh, set, as before, we are going to set everything as convex hull for better performance. Okay, now everything is every every fragment is canvas full, so we are going to get uh, a, a faster simulation and uh, select all columns on the ground and create a fracture body as before. Okay, click on OK, click on OK. You can see the Ancelin lines; it is created and. Uh, Reduce hardness as before to 20 units to increase uh, brittleness and set uh, propagation to local. Okay, it's on. Let's now uh, simulate again. Click on start. It is uh, slower now because there are much more fragments involved, but still a good rate. You can see how everything is breaking uh, upon collision with the cylinder and uh, still breaking uh, upon impact with uh, different fragments collision uh, between different fragments the columns still continue, continue breaking very nice ok it's done Let's play by the keys to, to check the final result. Okay, you can see everything is breaking and upon impact. Let's check another point of view. Okay, very nice. And well, this is uh, the, the end of the tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching.